Hello there and welcome back to another ideas video. Now, this is the third iteration of my mannequin hand. If you want to see the other two iterations, I do have videos on my channel. If I can find them, I will link them in the description. But before we get on to iteration number three, which is sat just here on my desk, I'd like to talk about five other new projects that will be coming to ideas over the course of the next few days. And maybe one that I might start work on very soon. So thank you all for the support my recent Polaroid submission, which you can see here on screen. It has ended now much like my second variation of the mannequin hand. However, there are a total of five new submissions for the next challenge, Exploring the Cosmos, which I will put a sort of collage while cycling through on screen. Either way, you can see all of the five here. At the minute of recording this video, only one is actually submitted. The second one's still waiting. I might be able to get maybe a third out by the time this video goes up tomorrow. I really don't know. But there will be a total of five going up. So as I add them to ideas, as they are accepted, I will be dropping their links in the description or there'll be at least a community post. So stay tuned in the community tab for more ideas. And there is another one which is a sort of museum entry it's based around the new museum set which is of course one of the newest modular builds and does look amazing and you've just got to build your own entry for the museum something to display i'll start work on that very very soon as i have so many ideas and unlike space where i ended up submitting five different builds it was going to be six but i had to pick the best five i will try and narrow this down to just the one build but again I'll let you know more about that once I have that up. So stay tuned, keep an eye out in the community tab as today's video is going to be about the latest iteration of the mannequin hand, which you can see in the thumbnail. It's actually the top left. I decided to feature space front and center as the title gives you everything you need to know about this hand. Now, this hand is fully capable for sign language, specifically ASL. The reason I chose ASL is because the whole alphabet can be signed with one hand. It's not true for all of the alphabets. I'm pretty sure BSL has a few letters that you need both hands for, especially all of the vowels. But I'm not fluent in any sign language. But I think this would be an amazing tool to help teach not only the younger generation, but also adults sign language. Because you can just have a bunch of different hands, model them how they're spelt out and... For example, the thumbnail, I used four of these hands to spell out Lego, which is truly amazing. We will be going through every single letter just to prove that this is well suited for sign language, because I think I dropped it in the description of my ideas that I will be showing off every single letter. And I'll probably clip it up for a shorts tomorrow if you wanted to skip along and get some more of the juicy video content in there. But there's a few updates I've made. It's mostly to the joints, the overall look. Again, my first mannequin hand, which you can see here, was not only something that I, at the time, didn't want to recreate in studio because of how complex it was. And that was sort of true for the second build as well. But it's very plain, very square. The second one I tried to round off, I think that's when I added these buttons to the underside of the fingers. And... Overall, just added a bit more detail to the hand. It just looked a bit nicer. And then for the third one now, I've added so many different details. And we will be taking a closer look in a second. But if you've been keeping up with the channel, and if you have, be sure you are subscribed. We are approaching 700 so quick. And if you don't know, it is my goal to hit 700 subscribers in February. So thank you to everyone that is joining the effort. But... I made a video, actually it was first in the channel update and I sort of gave away my secrets and said about how messy my desk was. So I made a whole video on all the mess that is currently in my room and that was to prompt me yesterday to tackle it, get some sorted. I still had to finish the mannequin hand so I weren't able to sort it all but I have sorted the desk. So let's take a quick look at how my desk is compared to yesterday's video. And as you can see, the only mess that remains are these five horses and two big pieces that were just too big to fit in my lego drawers so i have actually tidied up the rest of this desk and actually whilst i am holding the camera i did post a short yesterday asking which you'd prefer between stabilized or the raw footage i'll 
try and half the screen to show you exactly what I mean but there is this cool stabilization feature that I've come across on the new editing app I've been using and go over to the short perhaps let me know on the comments of this video even which one you'd prefer as it does cut out a bit of the footage but it just looks so much more smoother except for the odd frames that sort of appear to be flaking a little but let me know what you prefer between stabilized footage or the raw so if we clear the desk for now because we don't want any of that stuff in the video any more than it has to be you can take a look at the brand new mannequin hand version 3 which i think personally looking at the detail i've added to this hand i've made it replicate my hand and actually if you check out the lego ideas tab I have completely flipped it so it's a right hand as that's what tends to be used when showing off sign language and going through the alphabet at least. I'm sure for ASL in particular it doesn't really matter which hand you use but people will be more accustomed to seeing the right hand and I am left handed so it was easier just to work with my left hand and then flip it in the photos but the fingers are very much unchanged. In fact, most of the hand shape is unchanged. I'm pretty sure up to the thumb, this is the exact shape of the hand that I used last time. The back is a bit lackluster, a lot better than last time because instead of grey tiles or plates, I've actually used some light tan plates to match the rest of the hand. Of course, it's a mannequin hand. We need to match it up 360 and actually put some round two by two plates for the knuckles which as you can see do fall more on that hand than when the fingers are so of course this is built off my hand it is the same size near enough exactly the same size and the thumb acts just as a thumb would but we'll get to that in a minute because first off I want to take a look at this base here which is vastly different from the other one as you can see this hand is held on with four well two two by twos which is eight clutch points which is quite a bit of power the last stand was actually built into the hand and meant you couldn't remove it but this is quite nice because now you do have a hand if you wanted to build a wrist display stand you could and just sit it on top of that i've gone with this simple frame because we can get the new lego hook or toilet bowl depending on which set you've got this from and not only does it connect to the top bit there but you can remove this one by six plate on the side and just clip it there and now you've got a i guess display stand for even a bobblehead this would work up which would be pretty cool and this is all you'd need to support it because as you hook this up you're connecting the studs on the back side which means there's not really anywhere they can move break apart and just sort of bend enough to fall off the stand of course we've got a bit more of that fleshy mannequin hand color to support the hand and make it look like it is a part of the stand as you can see it sort of continues on as the wrist of the model so perhaps you can have two of these look like they're coming out the wall and maybe even build a face to go with it but it's roughly the same size as the older display it's still that sort of 6x6 six six shape with that extra hook piece on the top. In fact, that's more of a 6x7. Six I think it's built on a 6x8, no, 6x10. So this must be a 6x9, which makes sense because these are 1x8. So it'd be a bit worrying if that was by 6. But I really do like the extra, I guess, features of this because you can hook it on the wall again if you have two of these. I mean, if this was to ever become a set, I'm sure Lego could include as many hands as they like. Some different coloured pieces for different skin tones. I've used the light tan because mannequin hands tend to be this sort of birch wood colour, which is just a general colour, not specifically any sort of skin tone, and makes it much easier when building in studio, as there are many more tan pieces available at this time, rather than other specific colors now the details i've added to this hand in terms of the palm of the hand do match up with mine so the furthest point out is actually here on the thumb where you've got that sort of joint connection to your thumb and then there were two other big parts that i spotted and that was around your pinky finger here just leading up to it and then it dips before it gets to the finger 
and there was also a joint coming out around my index finger so that is what i've mimicked here we've got the big joint for the thumb we've got a little bit going up to the pinky and in that i guess more of a bulge around the index finger again the other fingers are all the same except for the fingernails which in all of the images for my ideas project i've included these tiles still if you didn't like the look of the fingernails you can just switch out the tiles with these fingernail pieces which i haven't actually had all the pieces to make them as nice and neatly as i did in the project but realistically the fingernails would just need two pieces this rounded one at the bottom and then a one by two tile on the top but this is more reminiscent of my early versions of the hands and as i said you definitely can customize all the different joints perhaps if we manage to hit 100 supporters on this lego ideas which first off would be amazing i think we hit 37 with the first one and then we hit just over 60 with the second version so if we do manage to hit 100 and top both of the models then i'll definitely be adding some custom limbs here instead of fingers i'll be adding all sorts of hooks tentacles and alien ligaments which would look very very cool for the mannequin hand but you're probably more interested in first off why the thumb is so different and second off all the letters we can be making so first off i would like to say that i am not a professional sign language person by any means and actually the image which you can now see on screen that i'll be using to go through the alphabet is just one that i found on the internet and cross-referenced with enough that i think it is pretty accurate so as you can see a is the first letter where originally would have a problem with the old hand because the thumb does go straight up and whilst it's not a problem to curl the fingers you've just seen me do it for the thumbs up you can even sort of mush them together a little bit more naturally as a hand would be but originally the thumb joint was just connected here there was no extra joint at the bottom so you could see it could thumbs up it could hold things but when it comes to sticking the thumb up close to the hand you've got this big ugly gap and it didn't look nice it looks nothing like the first letter so this new joint just allows me to fold it in, get the thumb right up next to it, and now we have the first letter of the alphabet. And to switch between them, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's very hard. But what this does allow is for children to be able to see what the letters look like, there's B, before they're trying to sign it for themselves, because a lot of people learn from a physical representation and much like in these images there's nothing really showing what these letters look like there is c and as you can see for c we do have a little bit sticking out here for the hand now really what i could have done is just thicken the hand to hide it but i don't think it looks too bad especially for an educational model we're not going for perfect we're just going for the posability of the Fun. and the advantage that this hand would provide over say a bunch of images or even just an educational video is that children will be able to or anyone learning sign there is d would be able to be hands-on with the hand and actually posing the fingers themselves there we have e rather than trying to work it out from an image perhaps they could give some more in-depth instructions or maybe just a few different pictures of how the hand works but as you can see we are going from letter to letter there is the letter f very very quickly and it's not too hard to pose this i mean i'm not exactly being gentle taking my time you can really not rush this but there we have g you don't have to take your time with it it's a sturdy model they're all on full joints there we have H, which should be, I think, that way. It's not a fragile model. It's definitely, I, th I think it's safe to say I've put purpose over displayability because the other hands might have looked a bit more flush. There is I, but I think that this is J, something like this. And 
based on the images I'm using, that is the best shot I've got. How are we meant to represent that? Where do the fingers go? It's just a bit confusing when you're looking at images. So this would be a great educational tool and you can still hold it to its original purposes. We have K as it does still hold rings and pretty much any of your jewelry. You could definitely expand this L and give it some sort of watch holder on the bottom. Again, all the custom elements you can have, all the different colors and just everything you can add to this model M. And to switch between M and N, all you have to do is just push the thumb up through these two fingers, just like so. Perhaps we could even tighten the other two and M and N are probably the easiest to switch between. But I guess this is more of an educational than play set, at least for people who want to collect it and don't really mind about displaying their jewellery. But what's really nice about this project is, well, the fact that it started off as a cool little display piece that was just to get me into making ideas. And then it went further. I stuck with it and tried to neaten it up. And now I've turned it into something that can be used to help teach sign language pretty much anywhere. The next letter R is my favourite because... If you know sign language, you have to cross your two fingers, which I couldn't really do on the first model. The second one, I probably could do, but it is just so easy to cross fingers. Perhaps this should be one of my display images because it's really neat that it also looks just how you would cross, or at least how I would cross my fingers. And what I noticed about my left hand in particular is actually when my hand's down, I can't put my thumb on my little finger, which I don't know if you want to try it the same. I can do it with my right hand just about, but this is the furthest I can get my thumb across to my little finger. It's twitching a little bit, but give it a go. Let me know down in the comments if you can put your thumb on your little finger and that will just confuse everyone else that hasn't made it this far into the video. And a lot of sign language is sort of repeated patterns like this letter, for instance, is S. If the thumb was tucked under there, it would be M. If it was poking through, it would be N. It's very similar to, I think it was E, which the thumb is in front of the fingers rather than on top of the fingers. So it's not the simplest thing anyway. And right now, onto T, the thumb sticks up through the index and middle finger. And that is a brand new letter. So it is amazing that... We can communicate just with different poses on the hands. I mean, just wait for the next two letters. We have U, which the fingers are close together for. Spread them out a little bit and suddenly U becomes V. I know they are very similar letters anyway, but it is crazy to think that positioning your hand in a different way just creates a whole new alphabet. And you can definitely use these to create some secret messages, I guess. As long as you know what you're spelling out and don't miss a letter because that could be very, very important. But Lego do actually have their own page on sign language and teaching you running through the alphabet, which I find is a bit easier to follow than something like even this video here. I'm showing you how to pose a hand. If you don't have a mannequin hand, it's not exactly the easiest because... I guess you could probably follow along with your hand, but I still don't think that it's exactly the easiest thing to be doing. So I will leave Lego's page linked in the description below. There is why, and last but not least, you put down the pinky, you lift up the index, and we have Z. So that is as easy as it is to follow through the alphabet. I've probably been doing this for like 10 minutes, but it feels like it's gone very very quickly and on top of that you can have your thumbs up and hang it on the wall and just display it for people to see it doesn't take up much space it literally takes up about 13 by 6 studs on your wall you don't need to hook it if you've got some lego compatible tape you can even just put the hand on it i would definitely recommend having something a bit more secure like a bigger plate between that and the wall but I guess you could use one of the Technic pieces 
with the pinholes in you definitely now that's all you would be destroying your lego piece so this is definitely an illegal build which i definitely need to do another video on that will be tomorrow's video illegal builds you've heard it here first but you could definitely screw that on now that into the wall and the 2x4 is actually the perfect size to fit the other lego model the lego hand that you'd be displaying on the wall and is also a little bit of a pain to get off but i think that this is definitely the best version of the hand next now the only problem is now the hands learn asl what can be the next step well of course let me know down in the comments as this was actually a fan voted suggestion on lego ideas itself and i think this is an amazing idea because it just takes my project to the next level so thank you for suggesting this on lego ideas of course we have the additions of fingernails in this video and a much better stand which now i will be putting this away straight after the video i will try to limit my mess any further but i really like how this project's coming along and it's sort of become a long-term project for me i'm thinking the next hand i really want to do is a sort of prosthetic hand something that can be perhaps not work as a fully prosthetic hand but something with a few strings or a few pieces of wire at the bottom lego do make strings i have one of them from the lego 8080 which raises and lowers luke skywalker underneath it to throw the grenade in blow up the ship if you know what i'm talking about you'll know lego do make strings so perhaps i can include some string elements and make a semi prosthetic lego hand which i think is the only place i can go from here so be sure to click on the link in the description follow this through to ideas and support it so we can hit 100 supporters and if we manage to reach the 10k mark this will be made into an official lego set and really that's just anyone's dream isn't it so thank you all for the support make sure you are subscribed and I think this is a nice place to wrap up the video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's show if you did skip over all the letters as I will be combining it into one nice short for anyone who didn't want to watch the full video. And thank you for sticking to the end of this video. Stay tuned for more awesome LEGO content and may the bricks be with you always.